Cedric Haynes is in our Storm Alert Center this afternoon. And Cedric, I know a lot of people out there say it, uh, it looks like snow, it feels like snow, but are you seeing any snow? <laughs> That's a great question. There were a few folks that have seen a few of those snowflakes earlier today, but now temperatures are beginning to warm up. So most of what you're going to see out there over the next few hours, probably just some sprinkles, some drizzle, and maybe some very light rain. But still, if you're in the higher elevations, I guess you could say around Grundy County over towards Van Buren counties, it's still possible to still see a snowflake or two, at least for the next hour or two. And then even there, probably just some rain, but that's not the end of the chances of any snowflakes. So we'll talk more about that here in just a moment. But first, let's take it down over towards portions of northwest Georgia here. We've had a little precipitation moving on through. And again, this is going to be very light, very fine precipitation. So what that means is the radar is going to have a very difficult time picking up a lot of this activity. So you've got to look very closely. Some of this may not even be reaching the ground because it's in that super sensitive mode trying to pick up on anything that's moving by. But the best chance of seeing any snowflakes right now is still over portions of the plateau up towards Mont Eagle, Tracy City, up towards Group Milagre as you head over 24 that's where you're going to probably still have that chance of a raindrop or a snowflake mixing in. And you can kind of see that there from Altamont as well, stretching over back towards the Coldmont area. And this may make its way up towards Cagle. So up towards Cagle Mountain there, over towards Dunlap, northern portions of Sequatchie counties there, you may see a little bit of activity still. There we still have temperatures that are in the 30s, the mid 30s, so that's still somewhat cold enough to get some of those snowflakes to survive to the ground. But notice in the valley areas now, temperatures have climbed into the lower 40s. So while it's definitely cold outside, it's probably not cold enough to see snowflakes from any of this very light precipitation that we have out there. We've got to wait till those temperatures drop back into the 30s again, which will happen eventually. Something cool to look at here. Of course, it's been very warm across most of the eastern half of the country uh, this winter so far, but notice it's 42 degrees in Chattanooga, but you head up the road up towards Washington, D.C. It's 52 degrees there. It's also 52 in Jacksonville, Florida. So you can see the warmer weather really stretching all the way up the northeast coast. And for us, we're one of the cooler spots right now. So it's hard to believe, but it's cooler here than in the northeast right now. Here's a look at the current weather map. You can see we are all socked in the cloud cover. And again, every now and then a sporadic snow flurry or a sprinkle showing up out there. But that was a uh, wave number one of energy. We're waiting on some more energy that's just off to our north and west as you get up here towards uh, portions of western Kentucky and southern Illinois. This is going to be the next spoke of energy that's going to rotate through Nashville later this afternoon. And by later this evening into tonight, that will start to move into the Tennessee Valley. And as temperatures begin to fall back into the 30s, that may give us a slightly better chance. So as you look at future cast again, it's kind of picking up on everything here, showing us that chance of a couple of sprinkles and snow flurries through the afternoon hours. But I think the better chance will arrive later this evening and tonight. So if you're going to be out and about throughout the evening, just don't be surprised if you see a quick burst of snow shower activity or a few snow flurries. Again, it's not going to amount to much at all and not going to create any travel issues, but maybe a talker and that trend may continue into early Saturday morning. So the cold temperatures will stick around this afternoon as we're going to struggle to reach the low to mid 40s in many spots this afternoon with the cloud cover and then that little better chance of that light wintry mix coming in as to go throughout the evening hours as temperatures begin to fall back into the 30s out there across the area. But notice, even though it will fall into the 30s and maybe cold enough for that activity, for most of us, we'll be above freezing during the evening hours. Now, by tomorrow morning, briefly, we may touch freezing in many spots, but overall, the precipitation is going to be so light, we're not worried about any major problems. Again, any impacts are going to be up along the plateau and the Blue Ridge, but notice, maybe up to a half an inch along the highest peaks of the Cumberland Plateau, maybe a few inches as you get up towards the Smokies, but that's high up in elevation. Very limited impacts again from this activity, mainly elevated surfaces, bridges and overpasses, if even that. And again, you've got to go way up into the highest elevations to see that. We do have a snow advisory in effect for portions of the plateau, so kind of keep that in mind uh, as this system makes its way through with this upper level low. So let me show you a storm alert seven day forecast because there you see it, DC, that light wintry mix today off and on. No big deal going into early Saturday morning. It's the true story is the colder weather, but we warm it up for the last day of 2023, but then a couple of more chances of precipitation. We'll talk more about that and if we could see some snowflakes with any of that activity in just a few moments.